G'day folks and welcome to Gormo Shed. Well as you can probably tell from the title, Gormo Shed is going to be phased out by Christmas. There will be this edition today, the October edition, there will be a November edition and there will be a December edition which is the Christmas one and that will be the final one in the Gormo Shed series. However, Great Chesterford Junction Model Railway Channel will continue on. It was operating as the two sort of things actually and um, and that was because uh, I was asked by uh, Tom, who owns uh, Platform One, to uh, do a, a video feature uh, for Platform One when it was in its infancy. And uh, so that started in January 2016, and I've been doing it ever since. However, uh, I think I'm at the stage now where I would like a bit more time for myself. Um, not that I begrudge doing anything for the forum, but uh, I just want to sort of pull back a bit with my commitments. So I just want to bring everything into the one and just have Great Chesterford Junction Model Railway as my YouTube channel and any sort of updates I do on the railway will be included in that, obviously. And uh, if I get any brilliant ideas or whoop de do things that uh, might change the world, I'll let you know about them uh, via Great Chesterford Junction Model Railway which you're subscribed to anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just eliminating that side of the, the videos. Um, so hopefully everything will work out okay. The big problem, of course, is that um, being on the front page of uh, Platform 1, if I stop doing videos, well, that will create a bit of a vacuum there and something will need to replace the spot where my Gormo Shed normally goes. Uh, however, with me doing, say, 140, 145 uh, episodes, if one was uh, put up every month as a rerun, um, that would take, take us through 12 years or more. I think people would be pretty tired of it by then. Um, and the other thing to mention is that the, uh, the back uh, catalogue of uh, uh, episodes won't be going anywhere. They are stored on uh, Platform 1 in a collection and that collection is linked to the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is staying, all the shed, previous episodes of the shed are staying, everything's staying as it was, there just won't be any further episodes after Christmas. There will just be purely Great Sister Junction Model Railway updates in whatever form they take. So uh, yes, I'd like to uh, thank all my subscribers that have sort of come on board and I suppose a lot have come on board simply because of Gourmet Shed so apologies to those people but uh, as I say I'm not going anywhere and uh, so hopefully everything will work out okay and uh, um, maybe they'll find a, a replacement for my episodes on Platform 1 as well but we'll see how we go. Anyway we'll move on to today's episode about grass. So we'll move out to the workshop and uh, have a look at what I'm doing. Right folks, this is the uh, section we're going to be working on. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's got different tones in it already as you can see. Um, and that's sort of different patches and all that sort of thing. So we might try and sort of even those out a bit if we can. See that distinct line there? Well, we should be able to soften that and... Uh, sort of make things look a bit more realistic. I mean, it, this looks okay as it is, but I think we can do better. So what we're going to be using to do it is um, acrylic paints, artist's acrylics. This is supposedly burnt umber. It looks a bit light to me for that, but that's the shade I want. Uh, this one is tan, even though it looks sort of beige to me. And this is titanium white. And with the mixture of those uh, three, uh, we should be able to get the results we want. And the paint will be applied with just a, a flat, preferably a bit sort of stiff uh, brush. We don't want to have a soft brush at all. So all we do is uh, get ourselves a piece of card and just put a bit of paint on the card when it wants to come out. It's a bit dodgy that one folks, it looks like it's um, dried out a bit, but that won't really matter. That's okay. Must have been sitting in the shed for a while that one. And we'll get some of the uh, so-called tan. And 
some of the uh, burnt umber. Don't need much, it's way too much probably. Right, so we've actually um, we've got some white on the brush now. I dry it off on the card, lose most of it, and then just go to the area that you want to work on and very, very lightly just go across the top of the grass. Just add it on here and there. And we'll try a bit of the tan. Lose a fair bit of it. And just gently here and there add some colour to the to the grass. Just random. Now we'll take some of the uh, burnt umber and lose a fair bit of it on the card and just uh, gently add some subtle colour in here and there. I'll try getting a bit more depth of colour in there. And we'll uh, get some of the tan again. Just mix it up a bit. Yeah, so you don't want to concentrate it, folks. You just want to sort of move just little areas all over the place. Just don't focus on one area. Just have um, random bits here and there. And you can even mix a bit of brown with your uh, tan and it gives another variation in colour. This is all very subtle and just goes some way to adding some realism to your grass. Now this is probably a bit too subtle for you folks to see on the camera here for, uh, folks but um, you know, every now and again, just sort of step back and have a look at it, the, the whole thing, and just make sure you don't overdo it. Um, you know, be critical and sort of, I think less is more if you can say that in this situation, but um, yeah, just don't go overboard. It's, it's a very subtle, very subtle approach the whole thing. You don't want to lose the green totally, but you just want to break it up so that um, it looks more natural. I'm sort of happy with that. The way it's going, I might just add a bit more just over here. And, I mean, If you think later on you get some sort of if you get some sort of brilliant idea and you want to add a bit more to it well you can always come back and do a bit more I'm sort of working on this join here which has got dark green going to light green and I'm just working through there to sort of uh, make that less obvious more of a subtle change so we've just zoomed in to sort of give you a better idea of it. And this area here is probably where 
most of the work was done. So that's just a subtle uh, technique folks, a very subtle one and uh, subtle is the key word. Uh, subtle is best if you go too hard with the colour um, you'll just look at it and think it looks like brown patches or white patches in there. Uh, this area here to the naked eye looks quite natural um, if we zoom in on that and I've got um, on this section here We've got uh, sort of brown toned down there. The brown umber, the burnt umber, I should say, is toned down a lot. But because it's so light, it's such a subtle change in, in the colour there. So that's it, folks. I uh, hope that's been of some assistance to you. And uh, we'll see you for the uh, November edition of Gourmet Shed. Mm -hmm.